Not a, this is not a scam, it's a legend call. Thank you for calling support. This side has I don't know. I got a, an, I can't hear you. An invoice for seven hundred forty nine ninety eight. But I don't know what it is. Do you? Okay. And when did you receive that email, sir? Mayno? When did you receive that invoice? About an hour ago, I think. And may so like have you purchased anything like from your account? I don't even know what this account is. No, I didn't buy anything. You did not buy anything. All right, don't need to worry about that, sir. I will definitely go ahead and check that out for you. What exactly is happening? Can you please help me with your first and your last name? Yeah, my first name is Mike, M-I-K-E. Last name is Rodick, R-O-D-I-C-K. And is this the same number, sir, that is registered with us, which is 31522? Yeah, but I don't know how it's registered. I don't even know who is this. I don't even know who this is. Right now, you are talking to the PayPal support. Oh, okay. And, you know, so, like, uh, the invoice that you received, like, what exactly does it say for you, you know? It says, description, product, service, name, Apple TV, 4K, order ID is 667788867, $749.98. So, as you're saying that you did not, uh, like, purchase, and uh, like, Apple TV, right, for $748. No. Don't need to worry about that, sir. I will just go and check that out for you. Uh, if you don't mind, sir, can I go and check it out? Like, uh, can you uh, what? Text, text. You got to speak up. I can't hear you. I'm saying that, sir. Just stay on the line. Let me just go and pull up your account and let me see, like, what exactly a thing happening, okay? Okay. So that we can just go and help you out with that, all right? Just okay. stay on the line, sir. So, all right. Yep, yeah, thank you. Thank you for staying on the line, sir. I really appreciate your time and patience. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, sir, I said just pull up your account, okay? And it's showing that, sir, right now over here, your account is temporarily locked right now. We can see a red flag on your account. Red flag uh, for what? One thing, sir, like, do you for know what? anyone? Do you know anyone from South Carolina? For what? No, I, I know somebody from North Carolina, but not South, North Carolina, uh -huh. yeah. Because, sir, it shows that your account has been get logged in, like, from South Carolina last time. And the product, this Apple TV 4K, it will be going to get delivered over there. Over where? Uh, in South Carolina, sir. I don't know anybody in South Carolina. I know somebody in North Carolina. Uh, so, like, do you know anyone with the name of Chris Morris? Chris Morris. No, I don't. No. I know a G-man down there. In North Carolina, but not nobody in South Carolina. Well, the thing that I can see that, like, we just temporarily, temporarily blocked your account because we found some third-party activity that your account has been get logged in, like, from two different places at the same time. And that's the reason your account is not blocked. And the thing is that, sir, as you're telling me, you did not uh, authorize that charge, no, so right? And there might be the chances that someone... Then yeah, so cancel it. That yeah, cancel that. The personal account information, and they have used it. So okay. what I'm gonna going to do? Let me just go and initiate the request for the cancellation of okay, yeah. for the refund, so that we can like cancel that product. Yeah, cancel for you, okay? it. Yeah, so I don't want to. Just give me that. like two seconds more. Right? Okay, all right. Just give me like two seconds more. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Stay on the line, sir. Right. Thank you. And sir, I just need to ask you one thing more. Like, did you try to log in your device, like, from any public Wi-Fi or, like, from any different place or any different device recently? No, mm -hmm. my com I got a computer. I'm not going anywhere else with it. Um, sir, as I can see that, I'm just checking out with my refund team only. What they're trying to tell me over here is that, sir, like, we are trying to initiate the request for the cancellation, okay? okay. So that we can yeah, and get you the refund. That's what I want, month. yeah. But the thing is that, sir, what? the thing is that, sir, what? Uh, like whenever you just want to cancel that. Yeah, cancel can it. Me? Yeah, cancel I it. I think that, sir. Yeah. Whenever we are just trying to cancel that, it's showing the error issue. Because the thing is that the product that it will be going to get delivered to you, sir, like tomorrow. And it's already processed, okay? Delivered to me? Here. I thought it was and going to South is, Carolina. I don't want it. Sir, well, huh? what? The thing is that, sir, what they're trying to tell me. If someone is already having access on your account, right? And if you will initiate the request for the refund like this, if the money will be going any wrong hand, sir, you and us both will be getting in trouble, right? 
that we don't want. So Who's we need to get safety in funding the money back. For why, the why would I get in trouble? I don't understand. If I will initiate the request for the refund, sir, and if you will not going to going to receive the money, and if the money will be go into someone else hand, right? Like if these people who are trying to have access on your account, if the money will be go to them, right? It will right. be a problem for us also, correct? That we don't want. So I'm just worried about me. I'm not back. really. I'm not really worried about you. I'm more worried about me. Sir, for your safety also, what I'm trying to tell you over here is, if these people can use your personal account information right now, they can do it later on also, right? So we not only need to refund the money back safely, but we need to go and get these hackers blocked, okay? Whom server is trying to get into it. So may know so like one thing, like do you have any computer with you right now? Do you have any computer with you right yeah, now? Yeah, I got my home computer. I'm at home. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna going to do, sir, I will be just telling you some few troubleshooting steps that you need to follow, okay? So okay. that we can just can help you out to connect you to our secure server, and we can make you go through the verification process, okay? Why do so I have to do... verify that? Like, yes, why, why, can't you just cancel the order? I got the order number right here. Sir, I mean, sir, just cancel sir, this order number. It's already pre-approved. Are you getting my point? I didn't so pre-approve I it. I didn't product. order it. Sir, listen to me. What okay, I'm trying to tell you. Okay, but I'm trying to sure. tell you, I didn't order it. I know that, sir. I know. Just stay on the line, okay? Hold on. Hold All on right. All right, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you is that, sir. Yeah. Uh, do you have any computer with you right now? In your, you, uh, yeah. Right now? Yeah, I have my computer here. Yeah. So what I'm gonna going to do, sir, I will be just telling you some few troubleshooting steps that you need to follow, okay? So that we can just go and check that, like, if your network has been secured or not. All right? Why? So do one thing. Just cancel the order. Do one thing, sir. Sir, we cannot cancel that. It's already pre-approved. And to cancel that product, we need to make you go through the verification process so that we can verify that, like, we are talking to the right person. How can I trust that, like, I'm talking to the right person? Because I told you. I called you. Sir, you called me. I know. But it's a case of hacking that someone has used your personal account information. So we need to make sure that we are talking to the right person. Right? It's, it's me. We uh, want me to. I know it's. Sir, that's the reason. Like, it's a procedure. We need to follow that, right? So that's the reason I'm saying that. Like, if you can come in front of the computer, I can guide you what you need to do. Okay, what I got to do? So, like, it's a Windows computer. Yeah. I hope that you're having. Yeah, All Windows. All right, so do one thing. Look on your computer keyboard. At the very bottom left corner of your computer keyboard, can you see there's a Windows key over there? Yeah. Like a key having four white flags on it, like four white squares? Yeah. Press and hold it down that key. Press okay. and hold down that key. All and right. at the same time, while holding down that key, press the letter R, R is in Romeo, like Robert. You need to press and hold it down both the keys together, the Windows and the letter R. Okay. This thing says run. And is that one box empty or is anything written in between that, you know? No, it's empty. So type in in between that, sir. Type in in between that. www. www. Then ultra. Uh, U-L-T-R-A, ultra. Okay. Like U.S. and umbrella. I got it, ultra, ultra. Viewer, V-I-E-W-R, okay. viewer. Okay. Dot net. Okay. And the complete website, it's like www.ultraviewer.net. And okay. then click on OK. Have you clicked on OK? Yeah, but it says blank. When you click on OK, sir, let me know what you can see. And you know one thing, sir, is this a cell phone number on which we are connected right now? Is this a cell phone number on which we are connected? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sir, first of all, allow me a quick moment. Let me just go and directly call you from my secured line, okay? Okay. Just check that, like, is the cell phone ringing? I'm just calling you right back from my uh, secured line. Just check that, like, is the cell phone ringing? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes, sir, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, let me disconnect the other line, sir, for you, okay? And what you need to do, sir, right now, over here, I'm just telling you some sort of trading steps, all right, that you need to follow, all right? And, like, what can you see, sir, right now on your computer screen, you know? Ultra when viewer, click on download. Okay, now this thing came up. Allow remote control. Tell your partner the following ID. All right, allow me a quick moment, sir. Just give me a quick moment, sir, all right? Uh, now, sir, do one thing. Can you please press and hold it down the Windows key and the letter R one more time on your keyboard? Press and hold it. And type in over there CMD, like 
B is in Charlie, M is in Mary, M D. Okay. I did. Then you click on OK. Black window came up. Microsoft Windows. Yeah, and can you see that Microsoft, yeah, Windows Microsoft Corporation all the way to You are now on your uh, Microsoft server, so OK. OK, Microsoft and you server. That, can you see, like, user, uh, like, next to user, like, let me know, like, can you see your name over there, like, or you can see someone else name over there, you know? I don't see anything. It's just a thing flat, a thing flashed on and off. Uh, sir, like, what you need to do now, what you need to do, just do one thing. What? Just do one thing, sir. Okay. Uh, type in over there, next, N-E-T, next. N-E-T. Then stat, S-T-A-T, stat, next, stat. Okay, not stat, I did. Yeah, then hit enter. Oh, it's scanning something here. It says one threat detected. Sorry, sir. It says one threat detected. Uh, one uh, threat detected. Like, what else can you see through them, you know? It says remove scammer, download wires protection for desktop, get certified level 9 Microsoft technician. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, you know one thing, sir, over here, like, what else can you see over there? Huh, what? What else can you see? Like, is that it? Yeah, the things yeah, flash. over there is not again. N E T next S T A T stat again next stat. Okay. And hit enter. It's scanning again. Always let it be so like if someone else apart from you has been using a network, you will get to know from over here, sir. Because you need to make sure that nobody have access onto any of the personal stuff or any of the personal account information. It still says one threat detected. Priority okay. action recommended. And what else can you see? Remove scammer, download virus protection from desktop. Get- sir, it looks like some, my guess is right, sir. It looks like it's showing you that one threat detected Microsoft warning that someone from the different location has tried to get into it and they have tried to use the personal account information. Uh-huh. And there might be a chance that so like, have you checked your, have you tried to log in into your account and have you checked that, like, if there's any pending charges over there or not? You know? No, I don't know. Uh, what I want you to do, sir, just try to log in into each and everything and just check that, like, if everything is working fine or not. Like, what? if you found anything suspicious over there on your account, just do let me know. What account? Sir, that's $748. Just try to log in into your PayPal account or just try to log in into your bank account and just check that, like, if everything is working fine or not. Like, are you successfully able to log in into your bank account or not? If you get any difficulty while logging into it, do let me know. Or if you found any suspicious pending charge, on your bank account, do let me know so that I can help you. Because you need to make sure that so there are no other more pending charges over there regarding this. PayPal <laughs> withdrawal, but that that's $102. I remember that. Sorry, I didn't catch that. So repeat that once again. I said PayPal was $110, but I remembered that one. Uh, there's nothing there mm-hmm. for the other amount. Have you seen your recent transactions? Like in last 24 to 48 hours, everything is like working good over there. Yeah, everything's working good. All right, just give me a quick moment, so like let me just check that for you, okay? Just hold on for a while. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, thank you. Just send the one first. Hello. Yes, we are here. What are you doing? What are we doing here? I want to cancel this and get it over with. Oh, uh, sir, sir, like we are just trying to cancel that for you. Sir, I can understand that. But the thing is that, like, we found some hacking activity on your network, right? And that's the reason, like, it's taking some time, sir, because the thing is that if these hackers already have access onto of your bank account information, if they can do these kind of illegal activities right now, they can do it later. Oh, so just... We can just try and cancel that charge for you, but first of all, sir, what we need to can you hear me, sir? Yeah, what do we got to do? Can we hurry it up? All right, sir, what I'm going to do, I'm just initiating, what I'm, what I'm going, to going to do, sir, I'm initiating the request for the refund, okay? okay? So what you can do, you can simply hang up the call. If I need any help, I will call you back, okay? Okay. All Sounds right? good, stupid. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. stupid. Sorry? I said, okay, stupid. Okay. What are you sorry for? I'm stupid. Your voice is breaking up, sir. Oh, my voice is... Well, I said you were stupid. And you read the thing that said there's a scammer on here. It's you, stupid. We are a scammer? You. You, stupid. You read it. <laughs> I read it, sir. What I read it? What I read it? What the fuck kind of talk is that? 
you read it on the uh, CMD. You read it on the command line. You read it. You could see everything that was on there. What the fuck? You could see my bank account, you dumb fuck. How can it? How can I see that, sir? Like that? If with the ultra that, viewer, what, what, with ultra viewers, stupid. Yeah, Come on, what do you think? What do you think? You that, look, sir, you are the only one. If you tell me something, then only we will get to know. Huh? Without the permission, like we cannot, we cannot see anything, sir. You saw everything. What do you mean? You saw everything. No. What do you think ultra viewer does, stupid? Sir, uh, come on, sir, what do you think? I'm you. as stupid as you? No, I'm not. Sir, let me ask you a simple thing. Did we ask you for any money or anything? First of all, let me know. No, you wanted my bank account. Come on, you fucking scam No, you don't. You, don't. Uh, you scam What are you bastard. talking about? What am I talking about? PayPal doesn't go through all this shit to cancel something, you idiot. Huh. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach uh, is not available. Me? Please leave your message after the tone. Hello, you piece of shit scamming bastard. This is me, Mike Rodick. Let you know I know you're an asshole and a scamming bastard. Goodbye, stupid. Thanks for reaching customer service. This is Jay. Mr. Slot, how much is you? Yeah, I was talking to some other asshole and we got disconnected. Yeah, I know whom you were speaking to. I forgot the asshole's name. He was some scammer over there trying to get in my bank account. Do you know which one it was? Look at the guy next to you. It's probably him. You fuck stick. Hey, Can stupid. You I'm talking to you. The profanity. I'm talking to you, fuck face. Oh, profanity. Fuck you. <laughs> Listen to me, you asshole. Listen to me, you thief. You're a thief. Thanks for reaching customer service. This is Dennis to sign her message. You can assist me by stop stealing money from people, you fucking asshole. How about that? How about that, you piece of shit?